Welcome to our ferrofluid experiment, iron oxide as well as iron dust in Galinstan. To mix the powders, hydrochloric acid has to be used according to literature. We use 10% strength hydrochloric acid in solution. The process is repeated until no dust is further visible in the solution. A lot of hydrochloric acid is used in this process. The process can be accelerated by shaking the bottle further. From here on, the process is a literal rinse and repeat until the solution is clear, because then you know that all the excess powder and dust has been removed and the oversaturation of the Gillenstein is no longer present. After a number of successful repetitions of rinse and repeat, you have obtained your clear liquid and your galinstan, which you can now test for magnetic properties. Both iron as well as iron oxide, dust, galinstan are produced in the same way and can now be tested. But unfortunately, we do not see a response even when applying a strong neodymium magnet to the new reformed material. In a comparison, on the right side with iron powder and on the left side with iron oxide powder. We see a beautiful reaction of the iron galinstan. We see that the droplet in the glass rod is moving quite beautifully as well as in the glass when the neodymium magnet comes near to it. Here the iron powder has formed an alloy with the galinstan and it can transfer its magnetic properties to the full liquid metal. In the case of the iron oxide powder, it has probably been completely washed out of the galinstan and is no longer contained in the liquid metal. And here, once more, the iron galinstan, which forms a beautiful Rosenzweig effect in liquid metal. Our conclusions are therefore that, unfortunately, iron oxide galinstan cannot be produced although the materials would be cheaper and much more easier to procure.